IKEA furniture is about as basic as it gets, but you can make even the cheapest furniture look expensive by just adding some good lighting and avoiding a few common pitfalls. In this video, I'm gonna do three separate LED installs on my new IKEA Besta cabinets using different budgets, tools, and skill sets to show you some really useful tips and help you make your LED project look like it was installed by a pro. First, even if you wanna spend as little money and time as possible, there's still a few big mistakes to avoid. So in my first install, I'm gonna purposely make all of them. To start out, I bought a cheap $19 tunable white LED strip kit that includes a power supply, controller, and remote. And in this install, I'm not buying any extra wires, doing any soldering, or buying any extra accessories. And you can still make your project work under these conditions, but it does kind of limit your installation options since there's no way to jump gaps and any holes that you drill are gonna need to be large enough to pass the entire LED strip through. You can see that after taking out that middle drawer, I was able to hide the LED strip properly, but I made the mistake of installing it way too high, which is gonna block a lot out of the light output. And in the top section, I committed the single biggest LED strip mistake by lining the entire shelf with exposed LEDs, which gives a real gas station beer cooler look. Let's see, how's that look? Well, I hate it. So uh, overall, I would say ease of installation, I would give this a nine out of 10. It was very, very easy, very quick, uh, but overall, uh, end product, I would give this, I don't know, what do you think, a two? I think a two. But like I said, you can still end up with a pretty decent install for under $20 and 10 minutes of your time. So let's see how much better we can make it look without buying anything else. I started out by pulling all the LEDs off of the top section, opting to leave just a single strip of uplighting on the bottom, since that meant that the strip would be hidden behind the storage boxes. And to try to decrease the amount of shadows and increase the light output in the bottom, I also dropped that middle section just a little bit lower. And then I pulled all the excess strip out of the back and I stuck it to the back of the shelf to provide some backlighting. So overall, this is a big improvement over the first iteration. So we don't have the LEDs all the way exposed in the top now, uh, but um, you can still see them a little bit back here. I think I wanna make it so that they are pointing back to the back. And then the big problem is that it's just not very bright. Um, I would like the inside here to be quite a bit brighter. So I think we need um, probably two strips on the inside. Uh, and uh, something else going on down here in the, in the main section. Um, I also ran a bunch of LEDs behind, um, and so the backlighting looks pretty good right now, but um, it might be too much because, again, these are so dim and the backlight is so bright that you can barely even see that these are lit up and I want these to be a little bit brighter. So for the third install, I raised my budget all the way up to $60 and I used the top rated all-in-one kit from my LED strip review made by Podix, which should get us a little bit more brightness and better CRI. And I also bought some of their solderless clamp-on extensions. And then I paired those with Wago inline wire couplers and some cheap LED wire from Amazon so I could extend them to jump larger gaps. In addition to using a brighter LED strip, I also ran the strip all the way around the bottom of the drawer slides in the middle section to get a little bit more brightness. And then to get power to the top section, I cut the strip and clamped on one of those extensions. And then I cut the extension in half and added more wiring using the Wago inline connectors. Then I ran the wire out of the back of the shelf and up to the top section. On the first shelf in the top section, I put upward facing LEDs and then I used another extension and some more wire to add an upward firing LED strip to the glass shelf. And normally this wire going from one shelf to the other would have been passed through the back to hide the wires, but I left them exposed for this video so I could film them more easily and so I wouldn't have to put any more unnecessary holes in my bookcase. On ease of installation, I would give this a five out of 10. It was definitely more difficult having to cut and splice and everything. Um, and for overall looks, this bottom part is a 10 out of 10. I love the way that this bottom part came out here. It is exactly what I wanted. Now the top has some issues. As you can see, the top here, you can sort of see the LED strip in the back. And then because it's a glass shelf, not only can you see the LED strip through the bottom of the glass shelf there, but also the glass shelf is green. It's got a green tint to it. And so it's making the light look kind of green. And I had not anticipated that. All right, so we've gotten some valuable feedback from the boss and we are uh, pretty close. She says she really likes this section, but she wants these sections to be downlit. Um, and so the problem with that normally is that um, usually it's easier to hide LED strips if they're above eye level to put them on the bottom firing up because then the shelf will get in the way. Um, but she wants both 
of these to be downlit. Uh, and so that might be a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna do it anyways. And then she also liked the backlighting. So we're gonna add the backlighting um, and we're gonna use some aluminum channels like this. These are 45 degree aluminum channels. And uh, what they're gonna allow us to do is we're gonna face them so that this side of the channel is towards everyone. So the LEDs are gonna fire backwards. Um, and then I'm just gonna paint these black after I get them cut to size. Uh, and then we'll also use these on the bottom section just to sort of um, make that bottom area a little nicer looking rather than just having the LEDs on the bottom of the drawer slides. I started by getting the aluminum channels painted with a quick coat of black spray paint and I soldered some long wires onto my LED strips. And because the joylet strip didn't come with any included controller or power supply, I'm gonna use the Shelly RGBW2 four channel LED controller to be able to individually control the brightness of each section. For the middle section, I ended up running the LED strip around the drawer slides like before, but this time I added the aluminum channel on the back, which should help with heat dissipation, and it also gets the strip angled down at 45 degrees instead of just pointing straight forward. I then attached the aluminum channels to the shelves using double-sided tape, but because the channels weren't cut to the perfect length down to the millimeter, some light was escaping out of the sides. All right, so we've got a small issue here. Um, I wanna close up this gap on both sides, and then also there's the problem of the light leaking out in between where the double-sided tape attaches. So I'm gonna take some um, electrical tape to go around the edges real quick here. Black out this spot. Do that on the other side. And then I'm just going to line it up with the bottom of the channel here. So now with the channels properly masked off and everything wired up to the Shelly, I can tweak the individual brightness of each section exactly to my liking. Each shelf has a nice diffuse and consistent downlighting with no exposed LEDs and because I opted for the ridiculously bright 24 volt UL listed strips from Joylit, I can run each section at less than 30% brightness, meaning they're probably going to outlast the furniture itself. And then last, to finish up this project, the only thing I had left to do was copy it over to the second identical bookshelf. And personally, I think this entire project came out awesome. And while they're still just Ikea shelves, they look so much better than they did before. I've got links to all the LED strips, controllers, and extensions down in the description. And as always, I appreciate when you use those links since as an Amazon affiliate, I do earn a small commission on the sale at no cost to you. Thank you so much to my awesome patrons over at Patreon for your continued support of my channel. And if you're interested in supporting unsponsored and unbiased content, please check out the links down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching The Hookup.